morning students welcome to our video lecture on module 8b lecture 1 machining economics this is a part of the course machine tools and machining me 30604 taught at undergraduate level i am nilanjan das chakladar of mechanical engineering department at iit kharagpur this course is parallelly taught by four teachers professor parthapratim bandopadhyay professor somitra paul professor sankhadev and myself The content of this talk is machining time per piece and machining cost per piece because time and cost are inherently related. Okay. Now coming to machining time per piece. So obviously you can understand machining time per piece means we are talking about minute per piece. So this diagram we have already seen in the machining time lectures so what it shows there's a tool the tool is being fed toward left it has an approach then there's the workpiece length and then there's the over travel so that gives the machining time equals to a plus lw plus o divided by the feed rate or the feed velocity that is feed in millimeter per revolution times the rotation of the workpiece so time per piece and machining time they are not equal that is what we have to understand why what other things are there so there's TS or TI which is the idle or the setting time that is to set up the job as well as the tool then T subscript CT that is tool change time it, you may have a tool turret where constantly the uh, tools are being replaced the tools are changed say first you need a facing tool then you need a turning tool you need a taper turning tool you need a threading tool like that then TL TL is the tool life now the time per piece is essentially the ideal time the idle time plus the machining time plus whatever time taken for the to uh, time accounted for the tool change time that is tm over tool life times tct now there is a catch in this expression in this third expression obviously there is no physical machining taking place at the approach and at the over travel so their effects can be assumed to be neglected which we have considered here so even if we use this similar expression of TM because the effects are negligible it is fine to use this expression of time per piece coming to machining cost per piece so machining cost are two types so one is the fixed cost another is the variable cost so fixed cost is the cost of the job cost of the, or the cost of the raw materials whereas variable cost is the electricity that's the power needed which is in rupees per minute the labor required whether you require a skilled operator how skilled the operator would be and how much cost we have to spend uh, for the operator so the labor cost it's INR per minute then the machine tool cost that is INR that is also INR per minute we'll explain the machine tool cost and then finally the tooling cost when we are changing the tool so what cost is involved what is the INR per change now the first three they come up to the overhead cost per minute or also denoted by k1 okay so it is overhead cost per minute which means rupees per minute the second one is the tooling cost which is per change which is k2 that is rupees per change now we just mentioned about machine tool cost so what is the example of a machine tool cost per minute say the cost of a CNC machining center is 50 lakh rupees okay and over 10 years of time it has a dep depreciation of 10 percent so let's say it works for 300 days a year two shifts per day and eight hours per shift so if we calculate that we'll get two lakh 88,000 minute per year so that is the working time of the machine that is in each year after 2 lakh 88,000 working minutes or operating minutes 
the asset cost will reduced by 10% of its initial value that's the depreciation that means after year 1 the cost becomes 45 lakhs after year 2 the cost becomes 40.5 lakhs that is 10% on 45 lakhs that's 4.5 so you subtract 45 4.5 from 45 and you get 40.5 like this gradually the cost reduces or depreciates now next is we have to derive the expression for the cost per piece so cost per piece is k1 and k2 they are now related in an expression called cp equals to k1 tp tp is the time per piece plus K2 that is the tooling cost times TM over TL machining time over tool life now TP we have already seen it is this form so if we feed this in TP so what we get is this right so K1 times now TP is broken down times this so if you look carefully into this expression it has actually three components in terms of unit how so one is k1 ti another is k1 times tm and the last part is k1 tm over tl times tct plus k2 tm over tl that means if we try to find out what is the cost per piece or what is the minimum cost per piece we will need to understand very carefully how these terms vary now we have mentioned here machining economics versus cutting velocity so what are we assuming we are assuming the depth of cut and the feed are fixed so if the depth of cut and the feed are fixed that means we can check the machining econo machining cost or machining economics with respect to cutting velocity now let us try to understand this figure so this plot it has a number of variables in the y axis and in the x axis we have cutting velocity so different variables in the y-axis so what do we have what what we see here first let's see what we know so tool life is something we know which is taking gradual decay and saturates that is tl that's the tool life next if we look into the k1 times machining k1 times tm the machining time it also takes a gradual decay Next, if we take the ideal cost or the setting cost, this ideal cost is pretty much constant. Okay, it's a fixed one. And finally, the tooling cost, which is K2 times TM over TL, which we just mentioned. Then also the tool change cost, which is K1 TM over TL. So this is more like a linear factor. It's a linear here. Now, if we add all of them, what we get is this which is the cost per piece obviously the cost per piece has a minimum cp and the point which if we bring it down if this is this is the velocity corresponding to the minimum cp then we call that as the optimum cutting velocity so we use that optimum cutting velocity and then only we get the minimum cost per piece okay now so what is profit here we know revenue if we subtract the cost per piece that is cp in inr per piece from the revenue we get the profit if we divide this profit by time per piece remember not we, we are not dividing by machining time we are dividing by time per piece so if we divide by time per piece we get the profit rate so to summarize this is the machining cost we just explained this is the profit which is the revenue minus cost per piece and then the profit if we divide it by time per piece we get the profit rate so we are actually interested in these two okay thank you for watching our video hope you have enjoyed it please add our playlist video lectures of MTM. Thank you.